with the tangent at a point of the ellipse x square by 27 plus y square by 3 is equal to 1 makes the coordinate axis at capital A and capital B and O is the origin then the minimum area of the triangle is here is the given ellipse equation is x square by 27 plus y square by 3 is equal to 1 so tangent equation at p of theta that is p of theta is a cos theta comma b sin theta this tangent line cuts the x axis at capital A and the y axis at capital B so therefore here the value of a square is 27 and b square is equal to 3 that is a is equal to 3 root 3 and b is equal to root 3 therefore equation of tangent equation of tangent at p of theta is x by a cos theta plus y by b sin theta is equal to 1 therefore x by a value is 3 root 3 cos theta plus y by b root 3 sin theta is equal to 1 that is equal to x by 3 root 3 by cos theta plus y by root 3 by sin theta is equal to 1 so it is in the form of x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 therefore the coordinates of a is here is x axis take y is equal to 0 the value of x is 3 root 3 by cos theta comma 0 and the point lies on y axis take x is equal to 0 therefore the value of b is 0 comma root 3 by sin theta therefore area of the triangle delta is equal to o a b area that is equal to half into modulus of a b here is a is x intercept the value of x intercept is 3 root 3 by cos theta and b is y intercept the value of b is root 3 by sin theta that is equal to 1 by 2 into 3 root 3 by cos theta into root 3 by sin theta here is root 3 into root 3 3 and 3 into 3 9 by modulus of 2 sin theta cos theta that is equal to delta is equal to 9 by 2 sin theta cos theta is sin 2 theta therefore the minimum value of sin 2 theta is 1 therefore delta is equal to 9 square units this is the the area of the quadrilateral are formed by the tangents at the end points of the latest rectum to the ellipse x square by 9 plus y square by 5 is equal to 1 is this is the ellipse s is equal to 0 so latest rectum this is the latest rectum s and this is the another latest rectum s dash this is l l dash and m M dash. Then we draw the tangents at the end points of the later sector. This is end tangent equation at L dash and tangent equation at M dash and tangent equation at M. These points form a quadrilateral. Then find the area of the quadrilateral. So given ellipse equation is x square by 9 plus y square by 5 is equal to 1 therefore a square is equal to 9 and b square is equal to 5 first we find eccentricity eccentricity is equal a square minus b square by a square that is equal to 9 minus 5 by 9 that is equal to root over 4 by 9 that is equal to 2 by 3 therefore end points of a later sector L value is a e comma b square by a and L s is minus a e comma b square by a and m is a e minus a e comma b square by a and m dash is minus a e comma minus b square by a and this is a e comma minus b square by a so L, L is given A E comma B square by A that is A value is 3 and E value is 2 by 3 comma B square, B square is 5 
by a a value is 3 so therefore a is 3 3 cancel that is equal to 2 comma 5 by 3 this value is L therefore tangent equation tangent equation at L is S1 is equal to 0 that is x by 9 into x1 value is 2 and y by 5 into 5 by 3 is equal to 1 so here is y5 cancel that is x by 9 by 2 and y by 3 is equal to 1 so it is in the form of x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 therefore the coordinates of a is put y is equal to 0 that is 9 by 2 comma 0 and the coordinates of b is take x value 0 that is 0 comma 3 here is x intercept is 9 by 2 and y intercept is 3 therefore area of o a b therefore delta is equal to area of o a b triangle is half into modulus of a b that is equal to half into a value is 9 by 2 into 3 that is equal to 9 into 3 27 by 4 therefore total coordinate area a b c d total coordinate area a b c d is equal to total area coordinate a b c d is equal to 4 into area of o a b 4 into area of o a b that is equal to 4 into 27 by 4 here is 4 4 cancel that is equal to 27 square units that is area of the coordinate a b c d is 27 square units the distance between the foci of an ellipse is half of the length of the latter sector then the eccentricity of the ellipse is that is here is given distance between the foci so distance between distance between the foci is equal to half of the length of length of latus rectum that is distance between the foci is 2ae is equal to half into length of the latus rectum is 2b square by a here is 2 2 cancel therefore 2ae is equal to b square by a so cross multiplying 2a square e is equal to b square so 2a square e is equal to b square means a square into 1 minus e square both sides a square a square cancel so 2e is equal to 1 minus e square this is take this side e square plus 2e minus 1 is equal to 0 therefore e is equal to applying minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a therefore e is equal to minus b means minus 2 plus or minus under root of b square is 4 minus 4 into a value 1 and c value minus 1 that is 4 by 2a is 2 therefore e is equal to minus 2 plus r minus root 8 by 2 root 8 therefore e is equal to minus 2 plus r minus root 8 is 2 root by 2 therefore e is equal to take 2 common minus 1 plus r minus root 2 by 2 therefore 2 2 cancel therefore e is equal to minus 1 plus r minus root 2 therefore we take the value of e minus 1 plus root 2 Therefore, E is equal to root 2 minus 1. It is third option is third class.